All right, here's a video about a Sunfish trailer for anybody who's interested in building one with sail tubes on them. I use a Saturn to tow the trailer, so I always had the problem of where to put the mast and the sails. Uh, I, I don't have a roof rack or anything, so it was always a real pain. Anyway, here's what I came up with. Uh, these two tubes are actually sewer tubes. I believe they're called green tubes, green sewer tubes. There's a 4-inch for the mast and an 8-inch for the sail spars. They're both about 14 feet long. And the first thing I did was uh, I bought some uh, new springs, took apart the leaves and just left the one leaf in there, and it seems to provide a real nice amount of uh, spring force to the, to the trailer so it doesn't uh, just bounce around or anything, it seems to absorb the bounce as well. I secured the tubes to the trailer using this uh, quarter inch threaded rod, and that goes into a three quarter inch. Uh, angle iron. Yeah, that's the back shackle. Here's the middle shackle. Here's the front shackle. And this goes into a, uh, this crossbar is a one and a quarter inch steel square. And on the front of the tubes, I've just got end caps. back of the tubes I've got uh, these clean out covers. Okay, you might have to also raise up your bunks to give yourself enough room for this 8 inch tube. These are 10 inch bunk risers. And I had to uh, raise this center wheel as well. Alright, I'll go ahead and mount the boat and show you how that looks. Alright, here's the boat loaded up. And you can see the spacing down here. There's plenty of room. It's not going to hit the tubes. I always load it and unload it from the right hand side. Uh, and I've never even come close to hitting the, the smaller mast tube yet. The paint, by the way, is uh, Rust Oleum. It's called uh, Painter's Touch. And it uh, does adhere to plastic. The, the cure time for plastic, though, is quite long it's five to seven days. If you so much as just scrape it wrong, you will scratch the paint in that time. After that, though, it becomes quite durable. All right, I'll go ahead and put the sails and show you how that looks. All right, so here are the sails loaded up. You can see the, uh, the tube, again, is right around 14 feet long, and that's about the size of the spars. Uh, they do offer a 6-inch pipe as well. I would not get it. There's just not enough room between the gooseneck and the pipe to really fit in there. You really don't want to be jamming your sail in there so tight, you're just going to wind up putting holes in your sail. On the other side, uh, the mast is about 10 feet long, so here the tube would be is way too long. Um, up front, I've I've put a uh, just a swim noodle, just uh, thrown down the tube that just stops it from getting up too far. And then in the back, I secure it with just a small piece of uh, noodle as well. This goes right in there, and that stays just perfectly. One last thing, this is the dolly that I use. Uh, this is kind of where I position it to uh, unload the boat, just slide the boat back, and rotate it around right on top of the dolly. The plans for this uh, you can find on the internet. All right, then when I'm transporting the whole uh, structure here, here's why I just strap the dolly down in the back. That way I've got it with me. And there you go. There's the complete picture of my sunfish dolly with sail tubes.